everyone. Tim Kreitz here, Tim Kreitz Adventures. Today I am in Martin County, Texas, in a little town called Stanton. A couple of things I want to show you. One is the Stanton Drugstore. I'm going to go in and see if I can get myself something to drink, maybe even something to eat. They have really good hamburgers here. And then, after we're done with that, I want to take you over and show you an old monastery from the 1800s. Very, very cool. So stick around. Kitchen's still open. Well, I'll be sure to bring some milkshakes. Okay, I'll take a drink. A uh, fountain, fountain Coke. Okay. Yeah, another thing, our fountain's broken. All we have is canned drinks. Oh, really? Then a diet coke. Okay. <laughs> There's supposed to be an old monastery over here. Is, there is, but mm -hmm. it's not open to the public. I oh, think they're it? still working on it. Okay. Can you drive by and look at it? It's just clo it's just closed off. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Valerie, I was just talking about y'all. Oh, you were? Yeah. Yeah. I was just talking about Caleb. I was just talking about Caleb. Caleb, I still see you. So up here on the left, just as we get past this house, this is the old monastery. It was a Carmelite monastery. It was started by Carmelite monks back in the 1880s. And it operated for a while until they gave it to the Sisters of Mercy. This town, Stanton, was originally called Marienfelde, which in German basically means Mary's Field. And it was German Carmelite Catholics that started this whole town, and this was the monastery. It was, as I said, passed on to the Sisters of Mercy, and I guess they operated it until the 30s. And something happened, a weather event, somebody told me it was a tornado or something, and because of the damage that was caused, they moved out of it. And it's been here ever since. And now, that lady at the drugstore told me there is a group of people that are wanting to restore it and turn it into a museum, which I think would be fantastic. Absolutely cool. I just wish we could go inside, but maybe another time. interesting I just wish we could have gone in or gotten a little bit closer but man they've got that thing fenced off like Fort Knox anyway I hope that whoever's trying to preserve it is successful in their efforts because I just love places like that living was hard back then we get all 
wrapped up in our first world problems. Oh, I'm not fulfilled in my career. Oh, I'm, I'm lonely for the right mate. Oh, I'm just so bored all the time. Oh, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. We have, you know, I just can't get the software on my iPhone 5 to work right. It goes on and on. Those people who built that monastery and the people who built this town, they knew what hard lives were all about. If you remember back to the Styles Ghost Town ride where we went through that graveyard at Styles, it was unusual to find anybody in that graveyard who had lived past the age of 35. Life was horrible back then, and the fact that those people were able to make a lasting legacy, build what, build what they built, it was just amazing to me. And it also makes me very mindful of the fact that we have it so good and so easy. People complain about the healthcare system. People complain about this and that with regard to the modern socioeconomic design. Let me tell you something, man. We're living longer and happier and in a better state of physical and mental being than humanity has ever lived. And keep that in mind when you're getting ready to complain about something. Anyway, I've preached enough. Just be thankful for your life. Be thankful for your health if you got it. Be thankful for your friends and your family if you've got them. Because those are the things that really matter. Anyway, until next time. <laughs> Take care of one another. Love one another. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next Moto Vlog. Bye.